Hey there YouTube. Right, this is a, um, <clears throat> it's not an in-depth review, it's just my, my opinion to this, uh, this hand tech. It's the, um, oh, you can't see that from there. It's the DSO-1102B. I get the best angle when it's angled down with the camera so you can actually see what's on the uh, what's on the on the on the menu there yeah now I've been living with this now for two months exactly uh, that's how long it's been and I'm not gonna lie a lot of the time this has been sat on the floor out of the way I don't feel confident with it and I think it's maybe because I spoiled myself um, I had a Rigel DS 1054Z and that well the big differences between it is this finds it very hard to hold away from okay and what I'm going to do is I've got snippets where I was starting to take bits of video, you know, I, I use the frequency, uh, the function generator, 50 hertz, and the sine wave, you know, it's there and it goes down to nothing and it pops back. And I've done the firmware updates, um, <clears throat> and you know, I just, I just don't feel confident with this. Now, this is the same price, basically. This is 322 pounds sent from China and it gets to you within a, a week just over a week so that's that's pretty good and the Rigel um, is 300 and what did it cost me today 331 pounds I bought a Rigel another Rigel 1054Z today I sold my other one thinking that this was going to be a great a great alternative I didn't need more than two channels a lot of the time and I figured that you know I could I could probably get by with just two channels and the rival's got four of course mm, message from the dark <laughs> sorry about that some messages um, but unfortunately the rival has a lot more to offer than this does and the first thing that I found the first thing that I realized now I couldn't do with this was I couldn't hook up a power supply and check the input AC and the output D2 because then they're not isolated and that is a big fail it's a fail on my part too because really I should have um, I should have double checked that I should have double checked I was looking for a multimeter as well and I thought well maybe this is incorporating a multimeter that's going to kill two birds with one stone you know um, but, but no, this is not really practical for me. I like to play around with my um, like solid state Tesla coil and such, and have um, I used to have the Rigel probe just hanging um, so I could see the waveform, and it looked lovely. You know, I'd go near it, and it would change, and uh, depending on what what you know the lights and what I was doing with it depending on the waveform it was nice it was great for me to experiment and I felt confident with it the Rigel has four isolated up to thousand volt um, inputs I'm gonna pause this because we got work people doing the, the grass and search and I don't know how it's gonna come across on the camera so I'll come back when they're finished okie dokie let's carry on I wonder if I'll put this on What I'd like to, to do is blot out, but I can't, um, as long as you can still see that. Now the reason why this, um, well possibly the reason why this is going the way it is, is if I just take this off here, is I've still got the probes connected down here to a little choke. Um, basically I was just, I was faffing around with a power supply um, toroid and put in the smallest capacitors I could across and using different coils for chokes in in series, inline chokes 
and having a slightly big capacitor here with a that's I think it's a 560 ohm load there it was a 1k 560 but as the um, the ripples were going down to near or zero I then put a, a lower value resistor in just to add to that load okay so that's still connected to that I don't know whether that's the reason why that's doing that but if I disconnect this Maybe it won't do that anymore. So that's be interesting that that coils. <laughs> I'll have to have a look at that when I finish doing this. Right, okay, because I've just disconnected that. Look, it stopped. But it's not actually connected to anything at the moment. It's just a coil on the ferrite ring um, with, a, with that resistor and capacitor. I'll put my hands over that. Right, anyway. So it's charging up at the moment, and that's, that is a great thing about this, don't get me wrong, there are a couple of good things about it. One is it runs from a battery, and that's quite good. It's not so good that I can't, if I'm using a circuit which is connected to my battery, to my power supply, my little solar powered power supply, and I'm charging from the same source, yeah, it doesn't like that at all. Non-isolated inputs, of course, is a big no-no. Now, that was my mistake. I should have done um, some better research into that because, obviously, with the Rigel, you've got that, and that makes that a, a, a good tool. Um, the, the fact that the waveform on this does jitter about all over the place. I don't know if jitter is the right word because I know that jitter is a word that's used in this. and But it just it flaps about all over the place. Okay, so you don't know whether it's what you're putting in or whether it's this. And that makes life very difficult when you're trying to uh, observe you know, the waveform and what's going on. Now, I know that that little frequency uh, function generator, I should call it, that little function generator up there is fine. I know it's fine because I'm not idle and I've sat and played with it for absolutely hours. And it's as solid as a rock. It's great. And there's enough people out there as well that have done little reviews on that particular, um, that's the JTEC FG085. And they say, yeah, great. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's not, you know, overly. Uh, it's not got a very wide band or anything. It's, it's, but it'll it'll let you sit with one hertz up to two hundred k, and that's ideal just for playing around. It, it's fine. It's fine. But on this, when you put it on, you know, with the square wave, it'll be there. It'll there'll be bits missing. I'll, like I said, down in the bottom uh, left hand side of the screen here. I will put in some of the other video that I've been doing and hopefully if I have sorted this out right then you're actually going to get to see this over on this side and all the other stuff will be happening on the left hand side. I'm very new to all this okay I'm very new to all this I'm new to making videos I'm new to talking about what it is I'm doing I'm new to a lot of the, the equipment but when I went and bought that rival I watched video after video. I watched uh, Dave Jones tear one down. I watched the, the, the opinions on it. I, I went looking to see, you know, there were the pros and cons of that. And there was enough information for me to say, yeah, that's what I want for the money. That's what I want. It's, it, some people would say, oh, well, you didn't need one of those. You just got into this. Well, yeah, but you could say that about a multimeter. Why would I need a multimeter? Why shouldn't I just get something that just shows me how a 9 volt battery, what, what charges on a 9 volt battery? And the reason why you buy a multimeter and you don't know what all the parts or the functions are for, but you'll learn, don't you? And without it, how are you going to learn? So, I sit and play with these things. I sit and play with that, that rival, I sat and play with and play with it. It made it a pleasure. This, like I say, I spent a lot of the time just sat down by the side of me because I didn't even want it on here because it was just depressing <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that but it, it made me think oh, I can't do anything with it I got stuff I want to do now okay oh power supplies that I want to build I want to build a tube power supply but I, I don't want to blow this up probing 
I've already had it once where I've got it on the AC on a uh, 12 volt AC and I've got the probes on there, great, I can see the 12 volt is flapping about a bit because this thing's making it flap about a bit and then I try and see the output on the DC side <gasps> if you want to see sparks coming off your probes that's a good way of doing it and then this thing will freeze up and then you got to reboot it and then you wonder, oh god have I damaged it now well it was flapping about all over the place anyway so yeah some people may give me some thumbs down for this but I'm just giving you this the way it is, I, this today I, I've complained about it today with the people I tried to send them a video but of course I'm sending it to that area and you always get returns so I've communicated with them on eBay it's two months out I've got one month if I wanted to push for PayPal but I haven't I've put it for sale on eBay because I just want it shot of it I bought a new rival today and it'll be here on Monday and I'm gonna be a lot happier man back to doing some experiments where I can actually hook up you know more than one thing without thinking it's gonna blow the probe ends off of and just I don't want sparks I don't want sparks and I've got lots of things that I want to be able to do playing around with uh, trying to sort out chokes power supplies to notify ripple and such but anyway <clears throat> so yeah uh, and don't get me wrong, you know, some of this stuff is okay. Um, I don't know, let's have a look. Like, uh, it's easy to get around. It is easy to get around. But yeah, you've got like a. To update it's dead easy. You just put the firmware on a USB, chuck it in. It doesn't even matter. Uh, I, the, the USB I used had an operating system on there. And it's one that I just use when I'm testing stuff. It's a Linux system. And if I've got a computer that's failing for some reason, I do a hardware check first. I put the Linux system in, everything's working great. I know hardware is okay, so let's, you know, if I can't get it, just to boot up and I can see from inside there. Because I can get these things to happen quick. I can boot up a Linux system on my laptop in under 30 seconds and it's ready to go. So, uh, self calibration. Okay, self calibration, that's good. But if you do it more than three times without taking the battery out and leaving it out for 10 minutes and putting it back in again, ah, they don't want to know. It keeps going up with an error code. So that's a bit of a pain when you don't know, and when you talk to the people about it and they don't respond back to you, you think, uh oh, have I got a problem here? But and the battery does get really warm in there as well. Um, no, 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 that's not even worth talking about. So I didn't really do a lot with the pass file because I didn't really get into doing too much with this. Uh, I didn't get into a record side of things. I don't think I can because I think you need a chip for that. But like doing the the acquire. Now this is something else as well. So when you go and you start going into this memory by the time you get here things are really slowing up at 512k on oh, one meg memory it is dead slow you put a signal in there and you if you've got something that's pulsing across well you're going to miss it. it it's just not going to work and maybe that's in my naivety maybe you shouldn't be doing it like that um, and maybe that's what a lot of this is going to turn out to be but I can tell you this I could do all those sort of things with the Rigel and I didn't really have a problem. This peak thing as well, two lines. Now that's got nothing going into it. Okay, if I just put this across that resistor, now I've got this two line thing going on. And I'm not too sure about, you know, what, what that's about. Okay, so you get rid of that, and again, you just get the, the big chunky line. If you start putting the longer memory on. Oh, why can't you see that? Oh. oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got the best camera in the world, but you know, to be fair, I didn't really think I was going to be doing this sort of thing. I put my videos up, I'll tell you for why, because it gives me a record, it means if my computer dies, hard drive just fails, whatever, I've, I've always got a, um, a record of my progress on playing with electronics. That's why it's called a lecky fun, it's not called I'm trying to teach you something, because I'm not. Okay, I look for help more than I try and give it. I just make these little videos because I can look back over time and think, huh, well, <laughs> that was the first thing you tried. Um, that's what you understood then, and this is what you understand now, and I can try and evaluate my own progress, okay? It's not about um, not about trying to teach anybody anything. All my circuits are pretty much copied, apart from a few of the little power supply things that I'm doing now, because I know enough to put together a little 
standard linear power supplies and prat around with resistance it, uh, resistors on uh, variable voltage regulators so I can set the uh, the output to what I want. Um, but yeah, of course things are copied. You know, did you think like a year ago I said things like I want to get into electronics, ba bang, and start designing? No, Can you show me somebody who can do that. Show me. Yeah, right. So, um, so yeah, back to this because I'm going on a little bit of a thing. Is I'll tell you for why I do that is because I get quite a few thumbs down on stuff. I think people seem to think when they look at my videos I'm supposed to be a tutor or something. I'm telling you everything how it works and everything. No, that's not what it's about. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm about. I'm doing this for me. It's just for me to be able to build stuff, put it up there, I've got it somewhere safely stored, so if I ever need to look back at it, it's there. If you know, a member of my family wants to go and have a look at it, they can. Not that anyone's really interested in my family, they're all too busy watching things like, has Britain got talent? I can answer that, a very small portion. But the rest of it's... <coughs> yeah, I, 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 I take a quick peek at that on things like uh, YouTube. But anyway, that's uh, so you know, the real time and this equivalent time thing. I, n I never really used it, um, so <laughs> equivalency isn't that just like averaging again? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the display, see, you can set it all up. Uh, the persistency is just on auto. It doesn't say off. But it's just on auto, and that seems like off. When this first comes, it's all bright. It's all everything, and you can make the battery last longer by turning down your your contrast and the brightness and, and stuff like that. I haven't actually done it time for time to see uh, how much difference it makes on these things. But you know there are some, uh, and if you want to keep it on, and you don't want the menu to keep disappearing, and you don't want the backlight to keep switching off, and it's going to like a little sleep mode all the time, just put it on unlimited. It lasts for long enough. It honestly does it last for long enough. If you're sitting around playing for the day, you generally get you know, enough enough time out of it, especially if you don't go wandering off and making phone calls in the other room or making food and stuff without just like switching it off. Switching it off, come back in. Problem is with that is it says to get it into an uh, optimal running temperature, you gotta leave like twenty minutes. So mm, that can work against it slightly. Uh, what we got here, so yeah that, that, that's all good, so we get rid of that. Um, the measurement side of it, yeah, it's pretty good. Not, you know, again, because I'm comparing against the rival, maybe I shouldn't be, I should just be comparing against something. I can only compare against something that I've had myself before and I've used. You know, now there's lots of functions on the rival and I didn't get around to using them all, of course, and I was just in a more of a learning stage then than what I am now, even though I'm still very much on a learning stage. I picked up a book yesterday. <coughs> Called Vacuum Tube Amplifier Basics. And I'm, well, I don't know if you can see the bookmark there. I'm sort of a third way through it. Very much in the learning stages, me. Very much in the learning stages with the equipment, with the components, with the all the information out there. And there's a lot of information out there. Um, so yeah, very much on the learning stages. But I got plans. I want to do. I want to design. I want to do these things. So I'm going to carry on learning too. So you know, you can turn this off. You can turn the, the menu off, and you get that bigger, bigger um, field of vision, which is which is great. Um, so in some ways, you know, it's not too bad. But like I said, if I've got this set up right, and you can see down the bottom left-hand side. Um, you'll, you'll see how the, the waveform sort of jitters about, and it does make it really frustrating because you don't know when you're doing something and you're expecting a waveform, or you think you might be expecting it, but it's all over the place. You think, well, is it what I'm doing, or is it this? Then you don't need that. You, you, da, 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 da. <laughs> You don't need that when you're trying to work, you know, when you're trying to figure out what's going on. It's hard enough being a complete novice anyway without the equipment that you're using chucking you into a more confusion. I mean, the rival, that just wasn't the case. You connect that up and boom, you've got a nice solid 
and whatever you were doing, it was there, and you know, you had the confidence. This is very hard. I could just phone up Jim at Rival UK. Hey, this is going on, blah, blah. and he was very, very good, very, very easy to communicate with. Great, even if you couldn't get onto it directly within a very short period of time, I'd have an email with explanations and stuff, and brilliant. This hard work, <laughs> hard work. One, try and find information on this apart from the website, which is basically just trying to sell the product. Try and find more information, very difficult. But how many people are there using these things? None, and most people are saying they're not very good anyway, which is again a downside, it was my own fault, I should have done more research. Uh, but the main reason why I thought I was gonna get this was because I wanted to do the, um, the mobile thing, get everything running from the battery, and the Rigel takes like 25, 30 watts just working on standby but this takes the same amount of power according to the, the, the specifications of it and it still sort of uses the same amount of power just sat there doing that so and you know I figured oh, I'd need a pure sine wave uh, inverter and everything to run the rival and blah 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 but they're so cheap now you know 500 watt uh, 300 300 watt nominal 5 600 watt peak pure sine wave inverter 50 quid 50 quid so cheap, 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 a lot cheaper than what they used to be. You know, sort of ten years ago when I first looked into buying an inverter uh, when I was doing a bit of travelling uh, with my truck. So, you know, an opinion from someone who's uh, spent three hundred and twenty-two pound on this against what I had. No, I, I don't like this. I don't like it. if the waveforms. Uh, didn't have that peak thing which really does my head in maybe somebody can clarify why that does that it's not going to stop me from selling it because like I said I've already made the purchase I phoned up Jim earlier and said hey give me another Rigel please because uh, I've had problems with this and uh, that's been shipped to me but would I buy one I mean if you're clever enough and you know all about these things then probably you might even avoid this anyway but if you're not and you're thinking, hey, is that a good investment for the money? I would say spend the extra uh, £9 here yeah, and buy the Rigel. Four channels, isolated. Um, and from what I sort of tear down a bit, I'm sure it was mentioned that probably a battery pack can be made up for that sort of thing. But uh, you know, don't, don't quote me on that and don't, uh, don't think that's any reason to buy that. I'm just It's a good sturdy very popular piece of kit the rival where this uh its main thing for me was the battery and it had a digital multimeter built in but the nice thing about the rival is that every when you at rival uk if you spend over 200 quid not including the vat which i have done today they uh they send you out a free multimeter as well yeah so swings and roundabouts so there we go um like i said on the bottom left will be some waveforms. Um, it's not going to be too extensive, but that is my humble opinion on this. W would I buy one again? No. Would I suggest to anybody else to buy one? Not really, because it honestly does seem if you're going to spend that sort of money, um, you, you, you are going to be better off with a rival uh, 1054Z. And it is a, it's a disappointment. The only advantage it has really is a, it works off a battery that is not enough where you've got waveforms going about all over the place and you don't know whether it's what you're doing or whether it's this and it turns out that I know that that function generator is fine um, that it's going to turn out to be this I've got a uh, signal generator in my in my laptop and I have given it a go what I'll do is I'll, I'll do that on here as well and I know that that's um, that, that should be fine and I have used it in actual fact yeah I've got clippings of that because I I did I did some um, some audio stuff with an LN 1875s and even that was hard it seems like you've actually got to get it down to a certain size and uh, a certain period cycles on the screen or otherwise it's all over the place again and how annoying is that it would be nice to just have one you know, 360 on the screen and it hold it there nice and big, nice and clear, but nah, this doesn't do it like that. 
you'd have to have a few on there or four or five and have it smaller and then it'll hold it in no matter where you're triggering it um, and you know it's on Ryzen X and really that should be fine for, for, for them sort of things I'm not an expert but it was fine on the rival that's all I'm saying so there you go all right Cheers for watching if you got this far. I hope this has become helpful for anybody. Please, you know, if you're just going to give a thumbs down because that's all you can do, then fair enough, that's your opinion. But if you've got something that you want to add to it, maybe it's not going wrong, put it in the comments. It's a lot more helpful, not just for me, but for anybody else that's going to watch the video. Okay, cheers guys. Bye-bye.